want to see what all the students are up to when you're in a computer room, want to blank their screens, take control of the screen or filter web pages, monitor when they type, need to speak to a group remotely without actually going near them, then RM Tutor is for you. This guide shows you the basics of the package installed on the teacher station in all the main computing rooms. Get to Tutor using the start menu. There's a underscore tutor section or just type RM Tutor to find the console program. Alternatively, there's a handy little link just sitting in the network under RM Staff. Now when it runs, check the room is right and then click through the welcome screen. It should connect to all the machines that are on. Now if you see machines that are greyed out, they're currently off. Machines with a name underneath are currently logged in. Otherwise, it shows machines in a user order and you can freely select by dragging the mouse over computers or by selecting them one by one using the control key. More on that later. With machines that are selected, the student menu lets you do particular things to all the machines that you've selected, such as, for example, rebooting them. The second icon down on the left allows you to see small thumbnails of all the students' current desktop. This is updated about every five seconds. The auto button at the bottom makes the screens as big as the current window will allow and you can see a larger version in a pop-up when you hover over them, which doesn't actually show up in this screen recording unfortunately. The fifth icon on the left is the web settings and in here you can restrict all internet access completely if you want to, but you can also block particular sites by typing in the web address and adding that to your restricted list, for example adding youtube.com. Now sometimes you monitor students and discover they've, they have workarounds, such as alternative addresses, which you can of course already also add. Click the block restricted button to turn the blocking on and the unrestricted to turn it back off. From any of the screens, double clicking will show you a close up live view of that individual student's screen. Now in the view menu, you can share control of their screen or take over it completely your mouse and keyboard will now be tracked directly to their screen. Back to the main view screen, pressing blank all will turn off the display of all computers, which is great for getting attention. If you want to lock a particular machine or a group, select them and press lock. Screen, mouse and keyboard will be frozen. Press unlock to free them. Now if you've entered your name in the first welcome screen, that's a great help for the next feature. If you want to chat to a group of students, you can text chat with them remotely. Select the students by clicking on the first one, and then holding the control key down in the bottom left hand corner of the keyboard, and then click off the remaining students. Go to Communication Chat. You will now create a topic focus discussion. If you don't enter your name, the machine name that you're on, for example G14 Teach, will appear instead of the teacher's name. You can also post the message directly onto the student screens, even setting the message to appear for a short time and then close automatically. This is great for providing web links, since a web link in this message box will be clickable. So in summary, RM Tutor gives you the ability to keep in control when students are using computers and used carefully can greatly increase their productivity and their accountability in your lessons.